Can we make this cool scrolling effect only using the free version of Elementor? Today I'll show you how to do that. So when you scroll, you can see this amazing turbulence effect with this image and the cool transformation of this text. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make that. Okay, so we can see I have already created these two demo sections and in between that, here I want to create our that main section. Here I have already created this so we can get enough content to scroll through our pages and see the effect perfectly. Now here we will start everything from scratch but if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this whole thing as a ready-made template, you can also get it from my template shop where as a bonus you will also get some different versions of this effect and all of this you will get both in the container and the all section column versions. Okay, now let's create it from scratch. So first of all, let's click on the plus icon and click on here. Choose the flex box and click on the first one. Let's give it a full height and width. So from here, make it to full width and give the height to 100 VH. Inside this container, we also want to place all of the content at the center. So let's make all of these options to the center. And also from here, let's make its overflow to the hidden. So any of its content will not go outside of this container. Then let's also give it a background color to a dark color. Now inside this container, we also need to take an another inner container. So let's drag it to here. And first of all, let's also make it to full width. And for this container, also make sure to keep this direction to the column. Otherwise, this will not working properly. Okay. Now inside this, let's drag our image. So drag an image widget and upload an image. It looks too big. So let's resize this to 400 by 600 pixel. And also make sure to keep this object fit to the cover to maintain the aspect ratio of this image. So after that, we need our text. So let's drag an heading widget for that. And first of all, let's change this text make its color to the white and also design this. Now to place it on here, first of all, we need to make its position to the absolute and from the top, let's make it to 10 pixel and from the right side, make it to 100%. And you can see this text goes right here at this top corner. Basically here for our this container, this is our right side and as we make our heading 100% from this right side, so it has been placed right before our this container. But actually I want to place it right before this image here. So what we need to do, we need to make our this container's width same of our this image's width. So for that, simply just go to this container and we need to make its width auto from our this custom option and now it's working properly. Basically for this container, when we set its width to the auto, then it automatically set its width according to the image. Okay. And here we can also adjust the spacing between them. So from this padding option on the left and right side, I want to give 20 pixel of padding. Now let's create our second heading. So just duplicate this. And for this one, instead of from the right side, I want to set it from the left side 100% and from the bottom 10 pixel. Let's change this text to another one. And here I also want to mention that this effect is suitable for this kind of small text. If you put too many text here, that may go outside of the screen. But in some cases, if a little portion go outside of the screen, which is fine, in that case, you can keep it like that or simply just can reduce the font size to adjust it. But I highly recommend to use this kind of small text which give it the proper aesthetic look. Okay, after that let's also add some text here. So let's add a text editor widget. Change this text. And like before, let's make its position to the absolute from the right 100% and from the bottom 10 pixel. Also let's give it a width and align it from the right side and finally change the typography. Perfect. 
Now finally, to add our effect, first of all, we need to add a class with our this container, MDW Turbulence Effect, and then we need to add our custom code. So let's search for an HTML widget and drag it right here, right before our this image widget, and let's paste this code snippet. Don't worry, I will give all the code snippet to my website and also give the website link to my description. So from here, you just need to copy and paste that code. And here, let's go to our this responsive option. And I want to hide this from all of these devices because I don't want to show this HTML widget anywhere of our page. Now let's update this. And if we see it from our preview, here if we scroll, we can see our this effect is working perfectly. So we have done everything for our desktop. Now let's also check it for our other devices. So from the tablet, we can see this looks too much big. We need to make everything small. So first of all, let's resize this image 300 by 450 pixel. Okay, but we cannot see it properly. Sometimes this can be happen on your edit with Elementor page. If this happens, you just need to click on this update button and just refresh this page. And now we can see it perfectly. Then let's also reduce the size of this big text. Also for this one. And this paragraph also goes outside of the screen. So let's reduce this width and also reduce this font size. Okay, now that looks also perfect for our tablet. Let's go to finally on mobile. And here we need to fix all of these things. So on mobile, we need to place our this first text above our image here. And then after this image, here is our second text and lastly the paragraph. So let's organize this from here properly. This first heading and here this second heading. And don't worry, this will not affect our desktop or tablet layout because for desktop and tablet, we have set all of their position to the absolute. So the order is not important on there. So here let's first fix its width, 300 pixel, and also align it on the center. And let's also reduce the font size of these headings a little bit more. You can also adjust the gap between these items from our this containers gap option. Okay, everything looks perfect now. And if we also check it from the wider mobile devices, here you can see some of our content are not properly aligned. So if we make it to center, now that looks good. And here for our this container, previously we have set its minimum height to 100 VH, but for mobile we don't need that. So make it to zero. Instead, I want to set some top and bottom padding for this container. Okay, now for mobile, you can see this effect is also perfectly working. And on mobile, you can notice that instead of the turbulence effect on the edges, we have just keep it as a normal circle with this smooth edges. We do that because this turbulence effect make the page too much laggy on the mobile devices. So we keep it like that here for the mobile and from the desktop and tablet, you can see the turbulence effect. All right, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.